Hey guys, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let me pull you a little closer. It's nice to see you. How are we doing? What's going on? All right, water signs. Let's see what's up. So, you know that tarot is for entertainment purposes, also to give you some clarity to your situation. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say to you, it, it could be them. I do talk a little dirty, so if you get offended by dirty talk or nudity in the cards, just find your way out of the read. Come again another day. Okay, so I do have a uh, support group. It's uh, Visionary Movements Mindfulness Networking. If anybody would like to join, Rob, my moderator, he donated to you guys to help you out. So don't feel bad or ashamed to contact me to join the uh, group. We had some new faces last night. It was a good turnout. Um, so I look forward to you guys coming in and hanging out with me and being my friend and, you know, healing and growing. We do meditation, we talk uh, topics of discussion. Last night was, uh, we talked about imposter syndrome. And yeah, it's just a really nice group, really nice community. We're all like-minded and vibing, just vibing together. So that's $10 weekly if you can afford it. Uh, it's a Zoom call Wednesday night, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time. All right, so water signs, what's up? If you'd like to book a read with me, description box below all right so some of you water signs are dealing with some heartbreak it looks like you are single you may be coming out of a partnership marriage right now you really don't you don't feel as good as you could feel. Some of you guys may be dealing with financial hardships, your emotions, you've dealt with some heartbreak, sadness going on you. You're in lack energy right now, guys. What's up? You're having a hard time moving away from this hurt, this depression. And of course, I start reading, my nose starts running. It's just. I don't know, maybe the Palo Santa, I don't know, the smoke, I have no idea. Maybe you just, you don't know how to get out of it. You don't know how to get out of your head, out of your emotions. You don't know how to move out of drowning in your emotions. But I see like you guys hide your emotions though. You don't talk, you don't express. You hold back, you hide, you, you pretend everything's okay. Meanwhile, you're like a broken diamond over here. So that's something that... You know, you may want to look at, look into a little bit more, becoming more expressive and acknowledging what's bothering you. You know, you could be dealing with a lot of fights, battling a lot of people, you know, feeling guarded from people. What's up, water signs? You don't have to be a water sign for this read to resonate. If it found you, it may be your read. All right, water signs, what's happening in your relationships? Yeah, you feel rejected. Someone is not communicating with you. Someone's no longer sending love messages to you and you feel kind of, you know, beaten down to the ground in your own mental conflict at this point. So no longer trying to build a relationship with this person. All right, water signs, what's up? Two of Wands, all right. So after this battling with people, after this hurt and this heartbreak, you're coming out of the crossroads. You're coming out of your head, so that's looking good. You're coming out of you know this overthinking, not being able to sleep at night, a lot of overanalyzing. Some of you guys are critical thinkers. But you're going from the 10 to the 9, so you're you're going in the right direction uh, as far as with the swords. You're taking those swords out of your back, you're taking the swords out of your head, and now you're, you're able to go towards celebrations. Now that you're allowing the tower moments to crumble, you're needing to be truthful with yourself. 
You need to be honest with yourself and maybe accept the crumbling of this foundation because it was built on a faulty foundation here, this tower. You could be dealing with uh, Scorpio, Aries, Leo. You were feeling bound to this situation. You were trying to stop this relationship from crumbling, but there was too much shit that's gone on in this relationship. It's caused you to feel very uneasy, unsteady. So I feel like you guys are gaining up the strength. You're becoming more confident in your energy. If you're not there now, you're. this is where you're going to. So feeling more confident. Showing a little bit of your vulnerability, you know? Be, being authentic with yourself. Don't hold back uh, in fear or judgment of others. You feel the way you feel. Your feelings are valid, right? So... What's coming in for water signs and their relationships? Yeah, you're, you're working hard on your money. You may be trying to figure out how to make more money, where to invest your money. You, you have a new passionate beginning here. So you're going to become very inspired. Some kind of uh, financial abundance. Are you just feeling the Ace of Pentacles is just you feeling valuable in your own energy, knowing what you bring to the table, knowing that you you are creative you do have motivation to move forward to become something very uh very to become very successful so you got two good new beginning cards new start fresh slate your past person maybe bit been a little harsh with you with communication um they may have gone cold on you a little bit with the King of Swords. You could be dealing with the air sign. There's a lot of air here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's honesty being spoken. There's cutting off what no longer serves you. Truthful communication. Now that you are accepting the fact of the matter, you're accepting the truth of the situation, you're now able to manifest. You now have all the tools all the knowledge, all the wisdom to move forward, to manifest passion back into your life and somebody that's going to prioritize you, invest in you. But right now, you need to invest in you. You need to invest in your passions and uplift your spirit without this person on your own. On your own, getting out of your head, coming out of indecision. Yeah. Oh. I'm licking their chops for you. Hmm. Somebody's drooling. All right. <laughs> you got a maybe a younger water son <laughs> drooling for your ass. Looking at you like you tasty. They're licking their lips for you. Romantic offer comes in. This could be from a past person that wants a uh, feeling nostalgic for you or friendship. This could be a friendship that turns into a love. A love relationship or it's just a person you take it how it resonates there's a lot of you or you could take this person as just a very childlike person they they're younger young energy and another ace ace of cups you being emotionally invested your cup is being overflowed overfilled uh, overflowing with that love energy for yourself and when we have this love of self, we attract what we are. So when you're sitting here feeding into yourself, prioritizing yourself and taking the focus off these relationships that are crumbling and that have hurt us, that have put us in our head, take the focus off that and put it back on ourselves, then we, we get the enlightenment. We get the new start. We get the new beginnings of passion, good sex, emotional intimacy feeling valued and prioritized in our relationship so this person this person you were upside down on your head you you had your own immaturity here guys <clears throat> you did you may have felt like an emperor but you were showing up as the page of pentacles and both of them were in reverse so you didn't have there was something lacking emotional immaturity uh, maybe you were codependent. 
Yeah, codependent with the devil card on a Capricorn. Codependent, obsessive thinking. Uh, some of you guys have OCD, ADHD, um, bipolar, some of you guys are, and you were flipped on your head. But I feel like you're working through that now. Now you're seeing yourself as the, the magician. You're seeing that you have to gather, you know, you have to hunt for your wisdom. You have to become better in your energy. There's lustful energy here. There's sexual desire with this person. Very attracted to you. I want to see you naked. <clears throat> but it looks like you, you are walking away from a family uh, dynamic to start this new, this new beginning here. You could have a Capricorn on your radar that you're wanting to manifest here. All right. Yeah. You need to release the ending. Trying, you stop trying to rebirth something that, that's long gone. Like now it's transformative time. Now it's time to transform your life into something different. Some of you guys do have skeleton uh, and rose tattoos. coming in for the water signs in the next week, week or so, it's coming in, coming in, yeah, you see, the only way that this person can come in, the only way that you are going to feel better in, in your energy is taking the focus off of this heartbreak dropping the burden of these people places and things and get to healing doing therapy scheduling a read with me going to counseling expressing to your people how you feel what is going on in your mental state you're going to drop it because the burden the ten of uh ten of wands is in reverse so you're not going to allow you know the camel broke its back with all the burdens and the, the hurt. It's just, you've taken as much as you can take, as much as that you can handle, and now it's time to elevate. It's time to become the star and heal yourself and shine very fucking brightly and stop listening to the crows. Stop allowing people to come in and, and hurt you. Stop allowing yourself to hurt yourself mentally by your false narratives. Okay. So, what's coming in for water signs? Partnership, four of wands with the justice. You get a balanced relationship in the future. You get that healthiness. Libra, Leo, Aries, Sage. There's a really nice relationship coming in. Somebody may really like uh, plants. sunflowers some of you guys are really trying to save your money hold back your your nuts <laughs> or holding back coming all right you're holding your nuts all right so maybe some of you guys are trying to hold back from sexual experiences with people strength yeah you're trying to trying to elevate yourself you're trying to become stronger you know throughout these obstacles that you have not you could have a Leo that's very, very passionate for you. Who's this person coming in? It's looking nice. Water signs. Who's this person? These cards really don't want to talk too much to me. Who's this person coming in? You gotta let the tower crumble. You gotta let go of your own toxic behaviors and the people around you, toxic people that disrupt you. High Priestess. Oh, wait, Wheel of Fortune. Wow, okay. So you're getting some fortune, some abundance coming in. 
coming to some raises, someone showering you with gifts, somebody wants to communicate about fortune, how to gain more fortune with you. You need to be patient though. You have to let things play out naturally, norm, you know, naturally. Drop the burden of it, drop the stress of it, and just allow a lover to come into, allow this empress or emperor to come into, Taurus, Gemini energy. Allow them to come into you to commit to you. Stop pressuring yourself to put yourself in relationships, guys. You put pressure, heavy pressure on people to be with you, giving you communication, you know, acting the way that you want them to act. You actually pushing these people away from you. So the best thing that you can do is prioritize yourself, focus on what makes you happy, and the right ones that are for you will come in for you. This person is coming in for you. There's two, two Taurus cards here, Taurus, Virgo, and a Gemini. So it's gonna feel like a magnetic connection with this person when they come in. They're very wise. They're very committal. They, they are very involved in the community, being the, the Hierophant. They're, they're an old soul. They give good advice, this person. The star. They could be a star. They could be a celebrity. Or they just have this star quality. They, they shine very bright. They have healing properties to them. They'll uplift you. They'll, they'll treat you as the star. Ten of Pentacles. Finances are looking real nice for you guys. So wherever you're deciding to invest or if you're deciding just to like hold back your funds a little bit, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You got the Wheel of Fortune and you have the Ten of Pentacles. Come on. And you were showing up as the Nine of Pentacles, so transformative. You financially supporting yourself. Wheel of Fortune and the Ten. You could be coming into a million dollars here. A million dollar deal. Ten thousand dollar deal. Something that's over beyond what you think it is or that you're expecting. I don't think you're expecting this fortune to come in. You're going to be shocked. There may be a Sagittarius, a star that's a Sagittarius that's coming in to, to give you a, a large sum of money here, guys. Wow. You're on somebody's radar. You're on a famous person's radar here. Yep. And they're looking to pour into you with finances. So this could be just a supporter of yours that's coming in to, to give to you, to support you, to help you on your journey, whatever your journey is. Wow. The magician. This is what you're manifesting for yourself. Damn, I'm getting chills all everywhere. This is some good shit. This person may be like a wizard or a star seed. Make sure that you practice I, I am affirmations. I am worthy. I am unique. I am all that I need. Whoever this person is, they're bringing in a lot of good shit. And they're coming in really lighthearted for you, taking a risk on you. This person's taking a financial risk on you. And also, they're taking on... They want to see you upright. They want to see you financially stable, this person. So that's why they're leaping into you to give you these opportunities or this love investment. There's legacy. You're growing a legacy for yourself. So somebody wants to grow with you. Somebody wants to help you get out of... Uh, feeling stuck or feeling broke. They like your ambition. They like your excitement. They don't want to see you, you know, knocked down and, and in your head and hiding. They don't want you to hide. Wow. This is amazing. Six of Pentacles reciprocated. Even. This person's very charitable. Very charitable. So you guys really are digging yourself out of a hole here. With all these aces, 
and all these riches and all this love energy come on like stop worrying about what happened in the past stop worrying about you know who's doing you dirty right now or who's not coming into you who's not showing up the way you want them to fuck that do you feed into your emotions feed into your value see what you bring you bring a lot you bring a lot to the table okay so let's see what this past person has to say and then we'll see what this new person has to say i'm always mixing up my cards where did i put this deck where did i put it there there it is okay my love me love me not oracle deck twin flame inspired available on my website check it out Past person, what they want to say. So I feel like this is more you. I dream about you. You're still having hope that this connection is going to work out maybe in the next 10 months. You're hiding how you feel. You're needing to come out of that energy. How's your uh, past person feeling? they want to say please don't uh, I'm not feeling it I feel like this is you please don't lose feelings you're sexy as hell I dream about you and I had to hide how I felt this person feels that the connection was a blessing for them you are a blessing for them and to please forgive them for whatever went down in this connection you see right through me so they they know you understand them um, and you're saying don't break my heart and they're saying goodbye i love you you know you guys do have love for each other but the trust has been broken here someone suffers from jealousy and someone's unable to walk away from someone else possibly so if you guys are not seeing eye to eye you need that that space and you need that time away and stop pushing the topic stop going uh in reverse this new person coming in what do they want to say that they're unable to i want you baby yeah i'm sorry i can't release them so they're not going to be it's in reverse they're not going to they don't have anybody else there's nobody else around this person i want you baby new person no that's not new person that's old person i'm trying to forget you you're forgetting them this new person, you're always on my mind. The old person just keeps popping out. I'm trying to forget you. I need to heal. This person needs to heal from this experience with you. I don't want to see you with someone else. I feel like that's going to be your new person because they are committal. They want commitment with you. Past person, goodbye. And new person's going to be saying i love you i think your past person does love you they do have love for you but they have to say goodbye to you because they need time i'll never forget you you see so don't feel abandoned or neglected from this person it's just not working out at this time this person i'm manifesting you all right so who could you be dealing with i know i already gave you some some signs that's a lot all right so cancer libra july 14th 7 14 taurus i'm getting sleepy mm. you guys need to maybe go for go to a salt cave or get a massage do something relaxing just for yourself getting your mind clear you know clearing your mind and de-stressing allowing your jaw to drop and just release uh -huh. 
release the tension allow your body to rest allow your mind to rest cancer of energy is very heavy here two cards came out cancer and aries I am live every Thursday night over here and over on TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray, Roots and Rewards, Jesse. Come and join. We have a great time, a lot of laughs. And if you do decide to book a read with me, please be patient. Um, getting your read, I'm working down my read list. Usually it takes two to three day turnaround. If you book on a Friday, you probably won't get it until Monday or Tuesday, depending where you fall on my read list. And if anybody would like to donate, I'm asking if you guys could donate a dollar, two dollars uh, for a new fireplace for me. It's a heater and the ambiance makes it really nice for you guys. Um, a couple bucks away from that. So I do appreciate all the donations. It keeps me warm. Help me help you. And uh, I want to thank Nito for, um, she sent me a gift. She sent me a necklace yesterday. So I found the owner of Rose Quartz Moon Necklace. So thank you for that. I do have an Amazon wish list in my link tree link below if you'd like to uh, purchase something for the channel. I like getting Amazon gifts. Makes me feel special. No, but seriously, if these reads are helping you, please think about donating because it helps, you know, take the pressure off of me. Um, okay, so your name could be Joe. Your name could be John. Don. Frank. Just heard Maybelline. You may wear Maybelline makeup. Maybe your name is May. This person could be coming in May. Name could be DJ or you are a DJ. Could be meeting this person in the next five months. Uh, Jess D. Name could be Justin. Somebody likes base. Uh, not be. Yeah. Well, maybe baseball, basketball. They're a fan. They are a fan of yours. So somebody may be an athlete. Somebody likes watching cartoons. Could be from Maryland, Baltimore. You're going to be like best friends with this person, BF. So this may start as a friendship that goes to something more. Moon. So this, this person may have not been shown to you just yet. They're going to have good dick for you, though. Or good poon. They got good dick. <laughs> All right. Someone may work for the FBI, military. You may like Dairy Queen. You may be love ice cream. You could be meeting this person on Facebook. You're getting a better percentage now. Better percentages coming in. Could be from Georgia, Arkansas. You could drive Mustang. Kristen. Katie. Did I say Georgia? AJ. Janelise, Gabby, Gabe, you're getting those abs, you're getting those abs, on point, somebody may be a feminist, you could work at General Electric, DA, maybe working with the detective, J B B J. Oh, you're gonna get B J. Oh, there's gonna be goo everywhere. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Hmm. Somebody may be a Italian. They may make good meatballs. They got a whole lot of balls for you. They want to go to sexy time. <laughs> See how they work. They start spitting out dirty talk to me. Sexy time. What's the emotional and sexual dynamic between the water signs and their people? New people. Let's see. 
nothing's going to be hidden with this person. No, there's no more hiding or deceiving or anything like that. No more holding back. They're not going to hold back from pleasuring you. They're not going to be greedy. They're going to make you calm first, you know. Let me pleasure you first. Let me lick your tits and do whatever you want. I won't leave you in disappointment. Don't worry. I'll get on my knees and put my mouth all over your shit. <laughs> you don't have to worry about not getting off. Because I make that shit happen. You could be going to a Russian banya and getting smacked with leaves from this person. Alright, so Six of Pentacles. Very balanced connection. Scratching your back. Getting you. Maybe feeding you shots. You could like apple cider. Yeah, they see you as the empress or emperor. They they come in justified. Wanting to suck face. Wanting to hug you and take passionate action towards sucking face and hiking up your skirt. Coming in really balanced. They may want you to dress up and take you somewhere really nice. Someone may have red boots. They really like you what you wear. They like your style. You could look very nice in blue. You could have blonde hair, like a dirty blonde hair. Possible orange uh, tinge to it, tint to it. They're traveling in towards the Nine of Pentacles, which I feel is you guys. They're coming in to the wealthy man, wealthy woman. They're not going to be able to cut off, cut you off. Um... Somebody may be a hairstylist or a mechanic. There they are with their sword, their wand doing this. How do I get a hold of this person? How do I make them feel good? How do I pleasure them? What do I have to do to pleasure you? So they're a pleaser, guys. They're a pleaser. Eight of Pentacles, wanting to come in and invest, buying you flowers, massaging your leg very gently. Huh. This person, <laughs> this reminds me of someone. This person could have a little bit longer hair, a little poofy hair on top, real nice body, like really nice chest and arms and shit. This person could be uh, from Ukraine or Lithuanian. They see you, they're just like, wow, I want a little taste of you. You smell so nice. <laughs> you smell so nice. Let me take you out of that mental conflict that you've been sitting in. Let me undress you. Let me, let me take all the stress away. Let me de-stress you, make you come a bunch of times. Ooh, okay. Hey, that'll work. They're gonna make you come to release your stress and then they're gonna commit to you. They're gonna get down on your knees and make sure they pleasure you right. All right, Taurus. All right, I see you. So they're looking for, they're looking for a commitment. They're looking for a relationship. This person's not just here to slob the knob or Pet the bean. Oh, but you need to let go of the messy situation that you guys are in. Stop allowing your emotions to dictate your next mood. You're thieving yourself here with your perspective on things. All right, let's see. Talk, clocks are ticking. Someone needs time. It's going to take a little bit of time. Some of you guys are coming out of addictions, a lot of self-indulgence and, and things that really are not good for you. So you're needing to show yourself more appreciation and do your healing work, do your shadow work. Take this time and then in due time, somebody will come in wanting to talk to you, love up on you, give to you. Let's do Oracle. Oracle for water signs. 
I need to make coffee. Some of you guys like to go to like artsy fartsy or uh, art art galleries or coffee shops. Mending. See, you're gonna mend things with your past. You're gonna make things okay. You're gonna release the hurt and allow this relationship to get to a better state like a, a peaceful state for both of you so you're gonna be mending with the past person or you're gonna feel better with what's going on someone may um, create blankets I see so and and yarn or thread go to the sea you're needing to connect with your 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 water you need to connect with water go to the sea take a bath cleanse your energy sevens keep coming out 52 27 25 may 2nd may 27th february 7th february 5th give me one more message in a bottle so there's some messages that are coming in to pull you out of this uh, emotional energy that you've been in 15 July 15th <clears throat> All right. and we're gonna leave it off with this card You're flying away. Right. You're flying on to better things. 20. You may connect with cherry blossoms. You may be going to a maze or a garden this spring. <clears throat> or carousel horses. Magic stream. You see? You're flying away to a magic stream. You're flying away to, to your emotions just flowing in a peaceful state of mind. 18. Something may have happened in 2018. And that's it. That's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the read. I hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I do appreciate all likes, donations, and kind words you can get on a daily basis. Sign up for my visionary movements. My website under services and bookings to reserve or just, you know, email me. And I won't be on uh, Instagram or Facebook uh, in the month of April because the whole TikTok ban and Zuckerberg I'm striking. So just contact me on TikTok, my website, or Gmail. All right. Keep yourself in high regard. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Next up is air signs.